Uh, this is the uh, first lesson of chapter 19 uh, called Differential Equations. Now, you might want to go back and look at your notes for chapter 18. This is one of the key questions from that. This is one where you have to do integration by parts twice, and then at the end, you find out you end up with exactly the same integral, and you bring it to the other side. But with this being such a key question, um, I thought I'd revisit this at the start of chapter 19. Now today what we're going to look at is uh, separation of variables. Now when we have a differential equation like this and we want to try and solve to find a general solution, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the letters that are the same to one side. So I'm going to bring all my x's to the right hand side and anything that's not an x or specifically is a y, I'm going to bring to the right hand side. So I can multiply both sides by dx and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the integral of both sides. Now at this stage you might want to say, as there's nothing here, you might want to just say this is 1 dy, so you know exactly what's going on here. So if I integrate 1 with respect to y, that's just going to give me y. And the integral of 3x is going to be 3x squared over 2. Um, as I don't have any initial values for this, all I can say is this is plus c, and that's what makes this uh, just a general equation at this stage. Now if we move on to the second question, and we've got a little bit more work to do this time. Now I have x on the top, which seems nice. I have my dx on the bottom of the fraction, which is always going to happen for dy by dx. So I'm going to bring that to the other side first, and then as a consequence, I have to bring the x to that side as well. So when I do that, I get 1 over x. Integrate both sides. I want to put a 1 again. The integral of 1 is going to be y. And 1 over x, you should recognize that integral as the ln of x with absolute values around it. Now for our last question today, um, a little bit more complicated, and also we can find a particular solution for this question uh, because I've given you some initial values. Now this time rather than being x and y, this is y and t. So I'm going to bring all my t's to one side and bring the dt up to this side. And then for a question like this, when I'm looking to integrate this, what I should be looking at with the fraction here is the differential at the bottom the same as the top. Well, it's close. The differential at the bottom is negative 2t. So if I make this a negative, then I'm going to need an additional negative outside. And then I should be able to do it by inspection. Now, if you're not happy by inspection, you could also do this question by a u sub as well. And then the answer would be a little bit more obvious. Negative ln of u, or if you can do it from this stage here, it was just the negative of what we wanted. So negative ln of what we had on the bottom, uh, plus c. Now this time we don't need the general solution because we have some initial values, so we can go ahead and substitute those in. So when y is 0, just substitute that in, t is 0, and we can plug that in as well. And as the ln of 1 is 0, 0 equals 0 plus c, so actually our constant for this question is just 0. So we can say that our equation is y equals negative ln of 1 minus t squared. And it looks like that's just hanging off the bottom of the board. So let me just lower that so you can see that. Now the questions you need to practice on this small section, um, I would recommend you do everything from 1 through 6. Now you're going to be doing lots of different questions with integrals on this section. So I could have easily done probably 20 examples here. You could be asked to do trig integrals, you could be asked to do exponential integrals, could be integration by parts, could be partial fractions could be one where you need to use the double angle identity. So while you're doing this section, you're really going to need to go back and look at all those other sections where you covered uh, integration to make sure that you can answer those questions. Um, I know one question that did cause a few problems was this one. Or something very similar to that. And people weren't quite sure what to do with this question. Uh, the differential on the bottom certainly isn't the differential at the top. So we've got a problem there. We could try splitting this up x over x minus 1 plus 1 over x minus 1 and then this one you can recognize as the ln function um, and then we don't know how to integrate that one either so this one's actually a partial fractions question so this is a linear factor and as the power on the top is the same as the power on the bottom I need a constant term at the start and b I can tell from this x divided by x is just going to be 1. So not immediately obvious that that's a partial fractions question, because I think normally you'd have two factors on the bottom uh, leading to a partial fractions question. So keep an eye out for that question when you're doing that exercise.